Hey, vapers! Welcome back to Vaping Sam and the Vape Lair. I've decided to to get a name, and this is the Vape Lair with Vaping Sam. Um, I'm back just to talk a little bit more. <laughs> I guess I just feel like talking tonight. Um, hopefully, you won't get bored. Vaping or tobacco menthol from Tasty Vapor, um, or my ego. So, what did I want to talk about? Well, you know, I've been pretty pleased with my ego. Um, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about buying things and buying them online. Um, I wish somebody in Jersey would get a retail location together where you could actually go and speak to somebody who's very, very um, filled with information. Um, because I would travel. I mean, I live in South Jersey, um, about 10 miles from Atlantic City. Um, I work in Atlantic City. I'm a casino worker. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually in the hotel side, not the casino floor. Um, but I would drive anywhere in the state or across the bridge into Philadelphia or into Delaware to go to a vape store um, to check out products and actually be able to see them um, and talk to somebody face to face about the products. Um, because I'll tell you, when I first got my ego, I ordered it from iVape um, down in North Carolina, I believe they're in. Um, I'm going to tell you something. When I got that, I quit smoking immediately. And the atomizer on the Ego, I rocked both those atomizers using both batteries simultaneously, both atomizers simultaneously. And those atomizers, those original atomizers, which I still have, even though they're long dead, they lasted me three months. Proper cleaning and taking care of them, blowing them out, um, giving them alcohol baths, um, occasionally putting them in a pan and boiling them in water for a few minutes and then taking them out, rinsing them, blowing them out, letting them dry, starting over. They lasted me three months. And then another vendor um, that I used was Good Profits over in Pennsylvania. Excellent service, um, very good. I ordered atomizers from him. Um, I think they were like eleven ninety nine, maybe nine ninety nine on sale, thirteen ninety nine, um, and was very happy with it. The only thing I wasn't happy with was the price. It seems like anything associated with the ego, ego T, is expensive to buy. To buy the um, atomizers, um, they're very expensive. I came across a website that sold liquids, starter kits, um, although very limited on what they had. Only a few flavors of liquids. Um, when it came to the actual kits that they had for starter kits, they had the Ego Riva um, kit. Uh, you know, very limited. And then they had atomizers. Um, for the Ego Rivas. Um, and the atomizers were $6. So, I kind of want to not drag this video out. Um, so I ordered like four of the atomizers, and they only have them in one color, black, um, for $6. And I don't want to hit on their name. Um, because I don't want people to rush out there and buy these $6 atomizers. Um, because the first four that I ordered, I 
had one that was good and it lasted me a couple weeks and I was like, you know, for six dollars, two weeks, well, you know, I'm gonna spend six dollars just for a pack of cigarettes. So, if I got the atomizer and it lasted two weeks, okay, I'm not gonna complain. Um, the second one out of that batch didn't even last a day and it died. The third one lasted maybe two or three days and then it died. The fourth one, I think it went like a couple weeks and then it died. So I sent them, you know, an email, ordered four more. Said, let's see what's going to happen with the four more. Same issues, same problems. One lasted good. One died um, right after using it only a couple times. Um, so then I just decided six dollar atomizer, not worth it. So I went back to purchasing them at the higher prices and got genuine Joytex Ego atomizers because the ones that I uh, got from this company that I'm not going to hit on. Um, unfortunately are not genuine joy ego teeth. There's no markings on it, there's no lettering, there's nothing that says. I also have this problem of letting go. Because, as I'm about to show you, I have five of my well, six of my eight atomizers that I bought. Um, <clears throat> I do happen to have one of those original eight that's still working. Although, it's seen its days. One of the other problems that I had with those cheap atomizers is I've never had a problem with leakage or any of my tanks. Um, but this one, I put the tank in, got it going, was using it, uh, took two or three puffs on it, and then there was liquid coming out around it. And when I was drawing on it, I could feel the liquid. I pulled my tank out, and if you can see, okay, this is just for demonstrations. This didn't happen. This happened, you know, months ago. I'm just talking about it now. Um, the point inside the cone that pierces the bottom of the tank came right out on the bottom of my tank. And I was like, what? Never had that happen before. And I don't know if you can really see in there, but the wick was like all squished down on the bottom and whatever. Now, I decided then, no more cheap atomizers, because you just can't do it. So needless to say, here's all these dead atomizers, along with my original two that I rocked for three months that I'm still hanging on to. Um, so, my word to you is just because it's cheap doesn't mean it's good. I'm not saying go out and spend top dollar for everything. I'm saying still you need to look around and see if you can find a bargain. But be careful because sometimes you get what you pay for. And I've learned that. And I don't want to say the vendor's a bad vendor. I love their juice. But they only have it in 15 milliliter bottles. Um, I think they sell it as 17 mils because, you know, you can get a couple more mils in a 15 mil bottle. So um, just be careful when you're out there shopping. Make sure that you are only buying you know, quality. 
I learned my lesson. Unfortunately, no matter how nice they were, um, and I explained the problem, they said they hadn't really been getting any other complaints. So I was the one person who had a complaint. Um, so needless to say, I haven't ordered any more of those cheap ones and don't plan to. So that's just my little speech on atomizers. I know now that they have Ego C atomizer out there. I'm thinking about ordering an upgrade kit for the Ego um, that comes with the cone and the base and five of the atomizers. I'm still searching around and looking for the best price on it because I see one place selling it for almost $30 and I see somebody else selling it for like 15 So, vendors, I'm going to ask that you all just start looking and going, hey, when I see somebody who's selling it for $29, and somebody else who can sell it for 15 and I see a couple of others that are selling it at 15 why would I want to go to the one that's selling it for 30 I mean, it doesn't, you know, doesn't make sense. Um, doesn't give me a good impression of the vendor when I think that they're trying to price gouge us because it's something new. I've always felt that the prices for the Ego stuff was a little high. Um, because the egos came in and they were so popular. Um, but, you know, there's other devices and stuff coming out there now, and ego keeps changing, they keep coming out with new things with this ego C, the ego booster. These are all things I'm thinking about getting and trying and then revealing. So, um, I'm going to shop around and look and look for the best possible prices on it, but I'm also going to make sure it's genuine and that it's real and that uh, I'm not going to throw money away, basically. So, guys, just vape on. Let's keep going. Um, that was my little rant for the night. Um, my next video is going to be a review on a new device that I got. Um, that I've got to tell you, I'm really liking it. And I'll let you know what that is in my next video. Vaporn, and God bless.